guys, it's Mirror Dust Studios, and welcome back. Today, we are going to be playing some more of the 16th Century mod. I'm going to go ahead and try and gather up a huge-ass army and try and attack and take over maybe one of the... Ooh, I got the map upside down here. Maybe take over one of the um, Japanese provinces, um, because I like the way that the Japanese, like, villages are set up and the castles are set up. They're, they're very unique. They're very different from the, um, from the forts and native. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys around those. Um, and we might also take out the Chinese. I don't know. The Chinese are pretty hard to beat. Maybe these guys. Maybe Southeast Asia or Delhi over here. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe one of these um, nomadic tribes up here like the Mongols or these douche bongers. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Did I already check this place for troops? I might have already checked this place for troops. Um, it would be nice to get some renown so that way I can actually hire troops free, straight from the um, barracks. But I'm not going to be able to do that for a while. That's alright. Um, maybe we'll actually get into a conflict with this guy over here. Ooh, 92? 92 and 96. Let's see. Oh yeah, let's take him out. Let's take him out. Hopefully we can do this. Oh boy. Deliver to my demands! Eh? What you want? I offer you one chance to surrender or die. What, sis? Do you enjoy having your eyes put out? This is none of your business. Prepare to fight. Uh, don't know what happened with it. What? I lost honor. Whatever. I don't care. Does it look like I care? Nope. Let's attack these douche dongers. Okay. Cavalry! Over. Dong, ding, dong, ding, right over there. Actually, I'll probably have my cab up here. It's a lot better of a place. And I'll get my infantry over here. Tell them to scooch up. Oh, I want you to form... Actually, let's form two rows and just stand really close. I also like how they do the war cry thing. Really, really cool. And then we'll have our archers up here. Cab up here. Oh, shit. Hopefully no one gets shot. We don't have that much cab. Oh, and let me change my battle size. Because my battle size was really low for some reason. It always resets to 71 whenever I exit out of the game, which is a bit annoying. And I'm not exactly sure how to change that. Um, Let's get you all to charge. Let's get the cab to charge as well. Ooh! Get shot, boy! Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and we're still reloading our musket after, after we ran into a tree and our horse reared. Amazing. I don't know how this guy does it, but he does it good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're getting Shrek. And reinforcements! Yay! Ow! Oh. Ha! I gotcha, you light cavalry in law. Hello there, sir. You are now dead. Congratulations. Ooh, and our mercenary knights. Okay, so those guys will definitely help out a little bit. So yeah, I would like to take over a castle as soon as possible, just to show you, just to um show you the troop tree thing, the troop tree mod that's in this. I believe it's in a few other mods too, but not that many. So, I want to show you guys that. Because it is pretty cool. It's not very well balanced, but it is still, nevertheless, pretty cool. What? I didn't kill him? Jeez, he has some pretty strong armor. Hello there. Ooh, ooh, I got him. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Very good, very good. Hmm. Oh, so close, so close. I like the outfit I've got going on here, though. Besides my boots. I would like to get a different pair of boots. Ooh, headshot. Nice. I'm on a roll today. Whew. Oh, cannons? Okay, so apparently muskets count as cannons. 
I guess that's where the cannon thing comes into play. But don't I have a, I have a firearms? Maybe, oh. That's for pistols and cannons. <sighs> that That's a bit confusing. Okay, so I guess the way it works out is cannons are muskets and firearms are for pistols. So I guess that's the way that works out. That is, that is a bit weird. Yeah, that's, that's pretty weird. Um, let's get a little bit of athletics and another thing in iron flesh. And I'll pump the rest of our points into cannons. And firearms, there we go. Yeah, because like I was saying before, what? 62 and he's still alive? These guys are tanks. Anyways, but yeah, as I was saying before, I never see I've never seen um cannons in this mod before, so. That was uh that's definitely a new thing. This this really reminds me of Fire and Sword, which I haven't played in a while. I wasn't a big fan of Fire and Sword. Oh Jesus, how did I miss that? I wasn't a big fan of Fire and Sword, but um Mainly because of the, you know, limitations. They kind of just went back to the original Mountain Blade as, as far as content goes. Um, so, I never really got into it that much. But, I don't mind it. It's still fun. And my archers are getting absolutely shrek. I'll just tell my archers to charge, actually. So that way they spread out and they're not just a huge target for Cav. And it looks like we're not losing as many guys as them, which is a good thing. Mostly just our light infantry and archers are dying, or our gunners. That's okay, they'll be replaced soon enough. Oh, get Shrek. Oh, ow. So yeah, these guys, it looks like the majority of their army is made up of light cav. Uh, so their castles should be pretty easy to take over probably like the equivalent of the Kurgits in native warband Which I mean, you know the Kurgits in native warband and in this like if you have light cav It's decent on the battlefield um, But you have to have a, a combination of infantry with it um but one, when you're defending a castle, you really don't want white calf because they'll get shreked. They'll get really shreked. And it looks like we're just about to win here, which is fantastic. Oh, hey, don't you, don't you, whew, this guy wants some, and I missed. The guns are, whoa! There's all my mercenary horsemen, or my mercenary knights. Looking good, guys, looking good. Hello there. Get Shrek. Oh, get him. I don't know why. That's also another glitch um, with the mod. Like, it, it makes the... Uh, I don't know what they call it. It's like the effect, I think it is. I think it's like an effect with, um, like, a breaking siege tower. Or, like, when you break spikes and, like, deployable barricades and stuff like that. That's what it makes whenever someone dies occasionally. Which is another reason why, you know, this game is a bit annoying. There are a few annoying bugs. But I mean, they're, they are easy to look, um, you know, look over and just ignore. I mean, it, it, this mod definitely isn't unplayable. It's definitely playable. You could definitely have a lot of fun with it, because I have had a ton of fun with it. Alrighty, well that's the end of that battle. That took a long time. <laughs> oh, and we're not even done. They have two more troops. I'll just order my men to attack. Um, oh, you're going to be my prisoner now, and you're going to hate me like shit, but I really don't care. Um, let's get, a, ooh, is that better than my horse? It's got a better charge value. And better armor. It's slightly slower, though. We'll go with the hunter, actually, because it is it is going to be slightly better. Yeah. We'll go with the hunter. We'll get those boots instead, because they're a bit better. And I'll just take the rest of this crap to sell. Get rid of these. And get the more expensive stuffs. Alrighty. There we go. So, we better get out of here as quick as possible. So that way I don't get shrecked. 
by a bigger army than me. Um, let's head over to Moscow and see if we can't recruit our, um, ourselves some more troops. Um, they're offering 1,700 dinars. I will accept that because, one, I don't want to lose honor, and, two, I need the money. Yeah, where do we, I mean, the 100,000 dinars that you start off with, if you choose the money cheat, is well more than enough to get you a few castles in the in the game, if you play your cards right. Um, let's go ahead and recruit a few guys. We got, ooh, we can upgrade our caravan guards. Let's get swordsmen, and then we'll upgrade those guys to hired blades. And, ooh, let's get caravan guards, because mercenary gunners are going to be picked off pretty easily. All right, well, there we go. And it looks like I got another point. I'll put that into charisma so we can go ahead and get some more troops. What is our party size? 154. Okay, that's not too bad. I would like it to be a little bit more than that, but that's not too bad. So can we recruit some more warriors? No, we can't. That is a shame. That is definitely a shame. Boho. Um, normally I would recruit you, but I don't think I am this time. Sporting lady. Uh, hired blade. Nice. 17 of them. And I also like in this mod, like, the mercenary troops aren't overly expensive. They're decently priced. Like, they're moderately priced. They're not so expensive that you can never get any, but, you know, they're, 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 you know, I just like the way they are. Let me just say that. Okay. So there we go. Put some more in cannons and crossbows. Get a little bit of inventory management so I can carry more loots. All right. So there we go. That's all the troops from Moscow. Let's head over to Smolensk and recruit some more mercs. Tavern. Ooh, Caravans Guard. Oh, yeah, also, there's these guys, New Goods Merchants, but it seems to glitch out. Like, when I went into this the first time, it said I lost all my money, and I was like, oh, well, shit. What am I supposed to do? So, yeah, they, they take all your money away, so these are pretty glitched. And these are just some of the new items added in the game. The pictures are a little bit dull and two-dimensional, um, but they work. Um, so, yeah, th these are just some of the new items. Whiskey, which is spelled wrong. Turkish carpet, pepper, nutmeg, stud horse, tobacco. So those are just some of the new trading goods added into the game. And yeah, it gives me my money back. So if that happens to you, don't be worried. It normally happens. You'll 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 get your stuff back. So let's head into Vilnius and recruit us up some more soldiers. We could also establish um some enterprises as we go across the land here just to help with troop enterprise or troop upkeep let's go ahead and do normally i would do bread but bread doesn't seem to work all that well in this mod so i'm thinking we'll go with uh a brewery yeah we'll go with a brewery because the the bakeries usually do good in native and native expansion but they don't seem to do too well in this one they seem to usually either lose money or you only get like 20 dinars, which is really awful, so. Ooh, all right, so we got a full party now. Ooh, I like this guy's outfit. Abdullah. I like his outfit. Very nice indeed. Um, ooh, we could get this, but I don't know. <laughs> my mustache or my beard makes me look intimidating. Um, no, we'll keep that hat. All right, well, let's go back. Let's go back to uh, the lands of the Khanate something, Kazakh Khanate. Um, and let's let's actually try to siege a tarot. Because I would like to, you know, again, show you guys around the different diplomacy mods. And, ooh, do you smell that fresh air, brother? Da-da-da-da-la. I'm not going to um, read this, but yeah. That's just the standard, um, you know, thing that you get with companions. The standard background stories that you get from companions. And oh my god, that's a lot of money. Which is another reason why we need a castle. So that way we can store all of our mercenary troops in there. And train up all of our recruits. Okay, so let's see. Is anyone in there? No. Let's go ahead and besiege it. Prepare the ladders. It'll take nine hours. Sure thing. And now the Kazakh kind of really hates me. Alrighty. So we'll go ahead and wait until day to actually siege this thing. I usually don't siege at night. Because it is a bit horrid. Um, let's call for a meeting with the commander. Surrender! 
Surrender? Ha! Huh, we can hold these walls until we die of old age. Well then. I'm gonna Shrek your bun. Shrek your buns, mate. Shrek your buns. Um, I'm gonna tell my archers to hold here just because if they march up there, they're gonna get really slaughtered. So it'll just be better if they stand back there and shoot. Ooh! Ah, oh, no! I was sure I was gonna get a kill there, but I guess not. Ooh, I like the sheath that my sword is in. Very nice. I do like that. Ah! Ooh! Headshot! That's what I like, boys. That's what I like. Oh, boy. Hopefully I don't shoot my teammate in the head here. Ah! Oh, boy. Ah! Oh! <laughs> That's great. Um, it's gonna... It's a little bit of a traffic jam here. Just a little bit. There we go. Oh, no. Please don't fall off. <laughs> please do not fall off. I also like how the, um, these guys, what are they called? Mercenary Knights? I like how they have the dual pistols. Ooh, I killed one of them. Nice. So this castle, well, one of the reasons that I want to attack the Japanese is because this castle really isn't too different from the native ones. And the Japanese ones are a bit, um... I don't want to say better, but they're a bit nice looking, uh, nicer looking. So we'll, we'll probably attack those later on. Oh boy. Let's see. Can I make this jump? I don't want to die. Oh no. Okay, good. We made it. So I'll tell my archers to go ahead and stand up here. Actually, I'll get him. Ow! Oh God. Don't do that. Actually, I want him to stand up there. Oh shit. Oh my God. Move! I'm about to shoot you all, move! Oh my god. This is one of the things that I hate about sieges. Is it's very close quartered, which is good if you um if you have, you know, well armed troops, but you you can never get into the fighting. You can never ever ever get into the fighting. Alright, I'm gonna have my archers get up there and just take pot shots at these guys over here on the stairs. So yeah, we're just easily cutting through these guys like butter. They don't have that good of armor, so they're getting chopped down pretty easily. So we'll just continue to shoot at them. Also, I don't know if I did this already, but we can crouch in this mod. You didn't know that. We can crouch. Which, it doesn't really seem to have an impact on your accuracy, but it, hey, it's pretty cool. And if you're behind something and you want to take cover, it's very nice to have. <clears throat> so we'll just take pot shots at these guys down there. Keep shooting, boys! Keep shooting! Nice crotch there, Mercenary Gunner! I like it! Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know. We've only lost 19 soldiers, which isn't too bad. Not bad at all, considering we've killed 154 of them, and wounded none of them. <laughs> oh boy. Hopefully those guys, all my guys there, don't die and get pushed back. Keep shooting, boys! Keep shooting! Why aren't you shooting, you butt plug? Shoot! Good boy. Maybe they maybe they recognize me as being in front of them so they don't shoot. Maybe I'll just sit here so that way they don't shoot. Don't stick your gun in my face, you butt plug. You're doing great, boys. You're doing great. Alright, that, I think that's the last of them. Right there, that's the last bit of them. Yup. That's the last little bit of them. Unless there's more down there. Nope. There he is, he's all, he's getting swamped. There we go. 
We only lost 33 troops, wounded 9. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Excuse, oh, excuse. Oh, excuse me, oh my gosh. I just had um, lunch a, a few seconds ago, so the burps are coming in. So there we go, got all that loot. And now, here's the interesting thing. All right, now we can um, appoint one of our companions or we can appo appoint a prominent citizen from the area. Um, now the thing with this is if we just appoint a citizen, we can't hire extra staff. If we appoint one of our companions, we can hire extra staff and I believe there are a few extra options that you have when you um, appoint a companion. So we're gonna go ahead and appoint Little John. Yeah, Lil Weezy! So we'll go ahead and appoint him. And here we can choose our kingdom's color. We're, uh, I'm not liking that salmon pink. Voice crack. I'm not liking that salmon pink. Can we get, ooh, a teal. I wouldn't mind an orange color. Is there any way we could get like an orange? Okay, what happens if we lower this? Because I want like an orangish color. Okay, it gets very dark with that. So let's lower this color and we should get an orange, right? Yes, there's an orange. Okay, so we can also name our kingdom. This all is a new interface if you're just coming off of native. So this is a completely new um, interface. And now what we can do, we can e choose to use the existing kingdom's troop trees or we can create our own. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the create your own troop tree. I probably won't complete it because it does take quite a lot of time to complete but I'll probably just show you guys around it. It's not that well balanced. Um, There is a little bit of balancing in it. But, um, towards the later things, you can just stack up full plate chargers, and their upkeep won't be that bad. So, yeah, yeah it won't be any worse than, um, the mercenary knights. And you can have, like, full stacked armies. Um, uh, but it, it is a little bit unbalanced, I'll just say that. Um, so we'll name our kingdom, um, uh, I kind of want to name it Butt Plug, the Butt Plug Empire. Um... <laughs> Swiggity swag, swiggity swag, swiggity swag, swiggity swooty, booty. No, um, <laughs> uh, we'll go with swiggity swag. <laughs> yeah, let's go with swiggity swag. That's a pretty horrible name, but hey. All right, so here's the thing. Um, this works like all the other troop trees. Down here, you usually have um, like your archers and stuff. You can really set this up any way you want, though. Um, so you can have your archers up here, or you can have them down here. It really doesn't matter. Um, now, the thing with this, I believe, is it costs 10 dinars for me to upgrade this guy to this guy, 20 dinars for me to upgrade it to this guy or this guy, 40, and yeah, so on. You get the point there. So we can go ahead and click on this guy, and if we actually reset, it'll give us a few more points. So we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll give him 12 strength, pump up that iron flesh. Oh boy, he doesn't have any power strike. Um, let's actually, yeah, that that's a bit better. And we'll give him some one-handed. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm messing this up. We need Weapon Master, which is right. Um, there we go. Okay. And I'll just put the rest in pole arms. And then we can go ahead and give this troop a name. So we can name him um, a Swaggity Footman. Or something like that. Whatever we want to name him. And then we can click over here and voila. Here's a huge ass list of different things that we can give him. So we can give him like these huge ass gauntlets. Um, now the thing with this is the weight, it's based off of weight, so the beginning classes can't have as heavy armor, so it, it kind of does lock you out, but on the later classes you can pretty much give your troops whatever the fuck you want. Um, it does raise the price a little bit of your soldiers. Um, the higher this price is, the higher the weekly wage is, and the more you have to pay to upgrade them. However, if you got, if you give your guy full, um, knight armor, they're really truly not that expensive, they're, they're kind of like the same thing as having mercenary knights. Um, except they have way better armor. So, yeah, they're not too over, you know, too balanced. Um, so we'll give them some other gloves and some pilgrim disguise and... Um, oh, couldn't load textures for a boot. That's okay. Um, what else is in here? Maybe we'll actually give this guy a little bit of a better armor set. Leather armor. Okay, that looks a little wonky. Uh, give him that? No. 
too heavy. So yeah, that's that's the thing with this is um your character can only have a certain amount of weight. And it's really heavily capped at the lower levels, so that way you have to give your troop um you have to give your troop some light armor. So I guess we'll just do that and give him a fucking wonky ass helmet. Any day now it's gonna load. Any day now. It is a little bit slowed on the loading time slow on the loading times for these um minis. There is a lot of shit though, so let's give him our barbu. There we go, looking pretty. <laughs> And we'll go ahead and find a weapon for him. So yeah, you could just go through and customize whatever you want. Give him whatever you want. All the items in the game are here. You can go ahead and give him that thingy. Um, although he doesn't have any two-handed things. He doesn't have any two-handed skills. Um, let's give him a sword summer. And a shield. We'll give him a Highlander shield. So there we go. There's our swiggity swag footman. So, so yeah, you, as you can imagine, you can make some pretty awesome troop trees. You can have it completely random. You can, you can make whatever you want here. Um, it, it's pretty amazing. The last guy, you can pretty much give him whatever the heck you want. Weight really doesn't matter for that last guy. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much the troop tree. Um, I'm not going to be making the full troop tree because once, as I said before, um, it does take a really long time to go ahead and set that up. Um, I believe like the first time I saw the troop tree it took me about an hour and 30 minutes to set that up so it was a little bit whoa whoa why do i have this robe this is my robe oh okay so i guess while you're in castles it equips like robes if you have any um so yeah i wish you to rejoin my party um hmm. any ideas um, I'm, I'm pretty sure somewhere we can... Huh, I, I thought somewhere we could, um... Change this back. Oh boy, I might actually have to make a troop tree then. Uh, yeah, we might actually have to make a troop tree then. I thought you could change it back, but I guess not. Um, I want to go ahead and take a look at the world map, though. So yeah, as you can see... On the world map, it did change. That is us right there. Our tarot and Regazaga blah, 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 gone. And that is what we captured. So now the map changes to that color and we get that. So very, very cool. I really, really, really love that feature. I wish it did include the whole map, including like the parts in Africa and stuff like that. But... It's okay. At least, you know, the majority of the map is here. I really, really, really love this. And maybe, hey, maybe there's even a way to, like, move this map down. If there is, um, I don't know it. But if there is, please let me know in a comment below. And I think that's where I'm going to go ahead and end this one. Um, I had, I had a lot of fun. Hopefully next episode we'll go ahead and fix up that troop tree. And we'll march over to Japan and siege them and see their, their castle. Because it is pretty cool. I do like it. So, yeah, that'll be it for this one. If you guys haven't seen the previous episode and you already watched through this, I highly recommend you go ahead and watch that one before you watch the next one. Um, if you want to see some more Warband Mod Spotlights, hit me up in the comments. If you have suggestions for future spotlights, hit me up in the comments. Um, I did the Reckoning. I'm doing a Let's Play of Viking Conquest right now, so if you want some more Warband, check those out. And once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!